Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, English, 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 English. And um, today in English, we are doing uh, adverbs, adverbs. Um, and this is going to sort of build on the work from the previous day, days. Uh, so <clears throat> we had before we had adjectives, which uh, work with nouns, which work with nouns to describe nouns, to sort of modify or change, uh, well, not change, explain nouns. Whereas uh, adverbs, um, adverbs, work with verbs, as you might guess from add verbs. They add to the verb, they describe verbs. So what we've got here is um, uh, adverbs tell you how uh, the action was done. So the ship sailed smoothly. So the, the verb sailed, it's, it's describing how it sailed, it sailed smoothly. Um, and it rained lightly, the, uh, the rain was, was light. Uh, then adverbs often end in Lee. Um, Lots of adverbs are made by adding li to the end of an adjective. So strong turns to strongly, calm to calmly. Uh, and it says down the bottom, and there's, there's a man pointing at this with a, with a stick, so he uh, must know what he's talking about. If the word already ends in y, you change the y to an i and then add uh, the li. So messy loses that y, turns into an i, and then becomes messily. And funny, the same. So funny loses the y. Tends to deny and funnily. Uh, there are there are some, and I checked this. I checked this. There are some. There are some words that can be both uh, adverbs and adjectives. So there is a bit of crossover. There is a bit of crossover. Um, but on the whole, if uh, if it sounds if it's the kind of word that could have a lee at the end of it, then it's going to be an adverb. Um, if it's a word that's going to, that could have an ing or an er uh, at the end of it, then then it's going to be um, an adjective. Really, uh, I wouldn't worry about all of that. Uh, just whatever you're trying to describe, be it a, a verb, um, an action, a doing word, or be it uh, a noun, a naming word. If you just pick the best word you can think of to, to describe that thing, to go with that thing, then then you'll have done uh, what you needed to. <clears throat> so the, the question for today, um, uh, one is put a tick by the sentences that contain adverbs. So uh, have a look at each one. Um, and see if you can uh, find the ones with adverbs. And then number two, circle the correct spelling, uh, correct spelling to complete each sentence. Now that is trickier. That is trickier. And I think this is when this uh, this bit with the uh, the man with a stick comes in. So have a look at this rule again. Uh, if the word already ends in y, change the y to an i, and then add lee. I think that um, that may be be helpful to you there. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so for those those two, and then uh, change the uh, adjectives into um, into adverbs uh, into adverbs. So yeah, you've got those, and then again, I think that rule uh, might be uh, might be useful. So there you go. Have a crack at that, and I'll be back in a little bit with some answers and a challenge.